Hello everybody, my name is Shmamkid, and welcome back to Let's Play Yoshi's Island. In the last episode, we took on these last two levels, in this episode, we're going to take on this one guy with the monster. And if you know in the box art of this game, that monster is on there. If you just didn't know that, now you know. Now you know. Now we got the baby blue Yoshi. Or sky blue. I don't like what's the difference between light blue and sky blue. Sky blue. So the sky is the limit. So how's everyone been doing? I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading all too much. I just don't have time to record. I'm surprised I have time to record right now. I want that flip. That looks really odd. I'm surprised I have time right now. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, stop it. I'm not losing. That, I was like trapped. That was stupid. Yeah, sure. I don't need to do any cutting because it's right at the start. Is there a knock? This is right at the start of the level. I always feel like someone knocks on my door. Oh no, my brother just opened this door and he's walking down the stairs. Get the flip out of my game. I hate you. There we go. Finally, get behind that. Section! Whoa! Oh, these guys steal your monkeys? I mean, your babies. My baby. Stole my baby. Okay. Sorry for uploading. Not up sorry for uploading. I'm so sorry that I uploaded you guys. Sorry for not uploading all too much. It's because I just don't have time to record all that often. Even if it is summer, there's always people in my house. And there's always like distractions you could say. Like yeah. And I just don't want to get interrupted during a recording. And we're about to go through this again, aren't we? Stop it. I just want to get on this tree. Thank you. And shut up. Dude, the, the crying is so annoying. Oh my god, the guy's chasing us, man. I have no... Uh... Eggs! I was about to say rings. I've recently been playing a lot of Sonic 2. Not Sonic Adventure 2, regular Sonic 2, if you're wondering. Because Jesus, just give me the egg. I've been playing a lot of Sonic 2. I've actually made it the farthest I've... That was fail. The farthest I've ever made it yesterday was Wing Fortress Zone. Wing Fortress Zone. And base like, this was all on a run. I played on my GameCube. Do the Mega Clay. You, you can use these guys as eggs. Use these guys. Move. Stop. I want your babies. There we go. So these babies can count as eggs. And I want that watermelon. Even though in real life I don't like watermelon. I just don't think it tastes good. Poisonally. It's a poisonal thing. And yeah. But I was. What is up with that guy? Give me that. I want the watermelon, not you. Whoa. Aww. What the helicopter? <sighs> Basically, I keep getting sidetracked. I, um, was playing a lot of Sonic 2 recently. Yeah, and I made it to Wing Forge Zone with, um, zero life. One life. Zero doesn't count as alive in Sonic games, if you didn't know. And. I basically. Ooh, got a flower. I basically. I died. There we go. I could not think of the word. Honestly, I just haven't been recording that much to think of words, I guess. Oh, God. Get out of my face. Alright, so let's get in the chopper. Get to the chopper! But. I keep saying butt and um and um and butts. Um butts. I love butts. Okay. <laughs> um so where am I supposed to go? Oh this way. So basically so basically, basically so. So basically, basically so. So basically. Okay, so stop it, stop saying so. Um I, I died of Wing Fortress. It takes me forever to tell the story. It's crazy. But I, ooh, we have the submarine. So I died in Wing Fortress Zone because if you've played there, there's that launcher 
that launches you, and I think if you don't hold back, you, you go straight into the death. <laughs> you go straight into the pit of death, so it was like really annoying. At least this episode isn't lagging all over the place, like, that's, that was stupid. Come on, I'm a submarine, we all live in the Yoshi submarine, the Yoshi submarine, the Yoshi submarine. We all live in the Yoshi submarine, the Yoshi submarine, the Yoshi submarine. There we go. Dude, dude, there's no way, there's no way I can make it. Oh, oh my jeez, I f Looks like we have to do this again. Don't like this level. Me no gusta. Yeah, so basically there's a launcher near the, the start of the level of Wing Fortress. And I basically, basically, I, they launched me and then I died. And, they, it like, it launches you straight off to the, the, the edge of the, like, Wing Fortress zone is a, um, I think. <laughs> it's a, uh, jeez, like an aircraft. Kind of like flying battery, but flying battery is cooler. It has better music. And well, if you don't know what flying battery is, it's it's from Sonic 3 and Knuckles, the Sonic and Knuckles portion. But it, yeah, and they just launch you off, and it's really annoying. I'm pretty sure if you hold back, then you don't get launched off. But it was my last live. I couldn't like test it or anything. And look, at all these one ups. That just went away. I hate these stupid things. I this level sucks. It has water in it. I don't like water in any video game. It, it's nothing. There's no water is good water. There's no such thing as good water in a video. I hate water levels in Mario. Wait a minute. Ugh, this, these games don't even have water levels. It's just like the water in general is just suck. Water levels in Sonic. Are, are sucky too. Like the best one is Aquatic Ruin. Uh, this was called the yeah, Aquatic Ruin. I always like mistake it for Aquatic Mine, which is a sucky level. And dude, these guys steal all your babies. And not mistaken with Aquatic Mine, which is from the Sonic Adventure 2. But basically, Aquatic Ruin is like you can never. There is a way to never touch the water, but that is the water level of the game. Hence the name Aquatic. Now like Hydrosity, where I think, well, I think in Hydrosity you cannot hit the uh, the water. I don't know if it's Hydrosity or Hydro City. But Hydrosity sounds cooler to me, so I'm just gonna call it Hydrosity. And we got all the flowers for this stage. This stage is long, which is why I stopped from making the levels. Oh, sorry, the videos for levels because there are really long levels sometimes in the game. Like there's one that's called like. Um, I can't think of the name right off the top of my head, but it's a really long level. Just trust me. The last one, it's like. It's like a the maze cave or something. I don't know, we'll get to there when we're in world six. And now we're gonna fight the frog, which is honestly the most unique frog. Not <laughs> the most unique boss <laughs> um in the game. It is also the most unique What the I just made it full screen. I'm sorry, wait. What did I do and how did I make it full screen? Okay. I did something made it full screen. It was like it was weird. It just randomly turned full screen. Oh god. <sighs> um what was I talking about? Yeah, it's the most interesting boss in the game because um you'll see it's also like probably one of the more interesting castles too or fortresses I'm pretty sure these are fortresses and the eighth levels are cactuses castles not cactuses because one that's incorrect of the grammar it's cacti I was gonna say politically incorrect <laughs> I'm just everywhere in this area. This is what happens with this stupid monkey. I hope he dies in a fire. 
nor my stomach. And believe it or not, monkeys are my favorite animal. Those monkeys are annoying. I also really like goats. <laughs> okay, um, I kinda. What was I saying about this? It's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I keep like going everywhere. I'm all over. I'm all over the place. Who the fuck? I was like playing crazy like that. You see that? I want to burp so much because like I drink so much soda. Like I drank a whole large Baja Blast from Taco Bell, and I drank a can of Mountain Dew before this. So I have a lot of sugar in me, even though I don't really get like hyper with sugar normally. I don't think. I don't know. Yeah, I'm always normal. Like, upbeat. You could say. At least that's what pupils and teachers tell me. Your son, Sam. I was gonna say your son, Sam. Your son, Sam, always um talks in class and he's always disrupting people. That's who I am. One of those guys. But you hate when you want to get on with the class, but they always talk. Is it like, like sometimes when I talk, it's like I'm not even talking a lot. Like I just say like one little thing, and they're like, they, the, the teacher like feels so like imposed to stop the whole class and just be like, we could and we could just sit here and do nothing. But yeah, I said one more. Just, yeah. I hate teachers like that. Like, there was this one teacher I had last year, or like in my ninth grade year, which was last year. Like, I'm going to tenth grade if you don't know. And uh, my Spanish teacher, she was so bad. Like, she wouldn't. Like, there was a point where she didn't give me any tests. And I'm pretty sure she's fired now. I don't know. Pretty sure. Pretty sure she got fired. But she wouldn't give me a test. So like, somebody in the class got kicked out because she was saying something, I don't, I don't remember, and so she was like, okay, then she gave her like a big list of everything the teacher did bad, and um, one of them was not giving me, and two others tests, and we're not giving the test, so basically it's like auto fail, we also didn't get the homework, I didn't get the, home the, the homework for the last month of the year, I got none of the homework, after me. Come on. Come on. There we go. Like, I didn't get the homework for the last uh, month of the year, basically. And, yeah, he asked, like, the vice principal or the assistant principal, whatever you call it. We call it assistant principal, I think. I don't know. I'm used to, like, vice principal because, like, that's the classified school survival guide. I call him the vice principal, but, like, I don't know. We call it assistant principal, I guess. I mean, does it really matter? I don't really like this part. These these gloops are honestly really annoying. These these gloops. These gloops. I'm surprised I got that. Honestly, oh, turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely. Okay. And so she, I'm pretty sure she's fired now. I'm pretty sure my photography teacher also got fired because she also got a lot of complaints. Uh. Not from me though. Because once I did, like, you guys know how on like the computer you could um just uh make it like portrait style, you know? You guys like normally when you're looking at it you normally have a horizontal, but you can make a portrait with like a painting, like one of those vertical paint you make it vertical basically. And I made it vertical and then I turned the monitor vertically and she actually sent me to like the assistant principal's office for that. Because I made my uh my desktop vertical 
like the monitor and stuff critical. So here's what I was talking about, about how it was interesting and unique. Let me just walk up to it. So it looks like a frog. Now Kamek is here. And just like, good job, Yoshi. Now you will be froggy to lunch. <laughs> froggy. And basically, this time, the frog isn't that isn't the thing that gets magified. You get magicified. Magicified. I don't even think it's a real word. And basically, he eats you. So you're in the belly of the beast, essentially, and you have to, well, kill him. And basically how you do it is you'll see. It's actually a really easy boss, but I really do enjoy it. It's your stomach acid that you shouldn't get hit by. And basically you get these guys and chuck them at the, um... I don't know what that's supposed to be. I don't actually think that inside of a frog. Like, basically, this is actually really easy. You just chuck it up at the wall and it will always go. The only thing you have to worry about is the the stomach acid. But when I say worry, I mean don't really worry all that much. A lot. Oh my god. When I say don't worry all that much, when I start... Like, I don't normally get hit here. Stop it. Stop it. I need space. And he's dead? No, not yet. This guy takes a quite, quite a bit of hits. I want it back. Oh, just give me my baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Chili! There we go. So we won because he's all colorful and basically... We, like, pooped out. Yeah. And Yoshi and Mario just went through the digestive system of a frog, and they don't want to go back. And, yeah, 70, that's not that bad. Probably should be better. We should have, like, an 82 or something. So, basically, see you guys next time. I hope you liked my stories. I, lo I hope you love my stories. And we're going to be taking... Hmm, going to be taking on the next two levels in the next episode thank you everybody goodbye good night whatever time it is for you just goodbye and have a great day night afternoon uh, goodbye